What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be learning how to make a dice roller app in C-sharp. Now a dice roller app is literally just rolling two dice on a table, but on the computer. So now that I have all of you guys at home amped up and obviously ready to watch this video, let's just get right into it. So you've made it to this point, so why don't you guys just go ahead and, and help out the channel and click that subscribe button down below for more content like this. All right, what's up guys? Here we are in our Visual Studio and we're going to create a new project here. So let's go ahead and click create new project. And this is going to be a Windows form app with the .NET framework. So go ahead and click next. And we're gonna call this uh, Dice Roller App. And go ahead and click create. And awesome, here we go. We have our, our good old form and we've been here before. So let's go ahead and change a few settings right off the bat because you know, we wanna make it pretty. So make sure to click on the middle of the form and go ahead and find where the back color property is. And let's go ahead and change it from this white to kind of like a more casino-y vibe, I guess. You know, like a, all casino tables, like, like blackjack and uh, things along those lines, all seem to be kind of like a darker green, sort of like this. So let's kind of roll with that theme for now. And then we're going to go ahead and add a label. So let's do this. And then right away, let's make sure to change a few properties on this. So the text align is going to be the top center and the auto size property is going to be false. And then we're going to change the, uh, the color of the font from, so the four color from black to let's do white. Actually, you know what? Let's do like a yellow theme. Cause it seems like a lot of the casino tables have like yellowish font and, 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 uh, lettering on the table itself. So, and kind of do like a more dull yellow and then let's bump it up and change the font so let's change it to something else here let's say like what does this one look like maybe a size 20 maybe a size 26 no 20 let's do 24. so here we go we have our label and just go ahead and kind of center it as best you can and then just extend it to the corners of the screen Kind of like that. And then we're going to change it from the text saying label to, we're going to say dice roller. And actually, you know what? Instead of top center, let's just make it straight up centered. And then also make the font way bigger than 24. Let's do like 36 maybe. And then, yeah, maybe, maybe one more thing. So instead of dice roller, let's say welcome to dice roller. Okay, so now we have a basic interface here and we are uh, ready to set up the next part of it. So we're going to need a uh, picture box for the dice faces to show on. So let's get it like a nice square shape and put it off here to the side. And then we're gonna copy and paste this exact same thing. And then we're just going to kind of center them as best we can but each one has just a little bit of a gap in between. And then finally, we're going to need a button. And the button is going to be for initiating the dice roll and changing the uh, images on the picture boxes. So let's go ahead and just kind of size it to be the width of the picture boxes. And then we're going to change some settings about this. So instead of button, we're gonna say roll. And then we're going to change the font to match what the uh, label has at the top. And this is Playbill at 36 font. So let's go ahead and find that in here. So we have, let's see here, Playbill. And let's do bold and do like size 28 font. And yeah, there we go. And then we're going to change the four color here to be, let's say, let's make the button yellow and the text black. So instead of changing the text color, let's change the back color of the button. And we're going to change it to like the same darker, dull yellow. And that's just going to be a nice interface there. Okay, so now we're kind of done with setting up the interface. So if you go ahead and run our app, um, we will notice that it is the exact size that we set it in our uh, interface designer. And we have this roll button that does nothing. We have a welcome to dice roller, you know, label. And you can't see the picture boxes right now because we don't have anything in them. 
So we can quickly just change that. Let's just set like kind of a default value. And um, we have six white dice faces. And I'm going to host this whole project on my GitHub. So if you guys have trouble um, finding your own dice faces, I'm going to just upload them um, for you guys to use. But for now, just click on one of your picture boxes and go down to where it says image. And it's going to say none. So we're going to go ahead and click local resource. And then we're going to go ahead and import them. All right, guys. So now that I have chose a picture to import, I'm going to click OK. So we'll notice right off the bat, we, have, we can only see the top left corner of the dice face, which is bad. You know, your image is it's just wonky and it's not formulated right. So we are going to click on the picture box and scroll down to where it says size mode. Click the little drop arrow and click uh, stretch image. And that's going to automatically condense the image inside of the picture box so you can see the entire thing, which is awesome. So then the only other thing we need to do is go ahead into the other picture box and set the image for that one and also size it as well. So give me just a second to do that. Okay, now we have our uh, image imported and just like we did before, go out on the size mode, click stretch image. And now if we run our app, we'll notice that we have two dice faces, but eh, it kind of looks a little crummy, right? So one more thing we want to change is go ahead and click this again and the back color of the picture box is going to be white instead of this green. So go ahead and change the back color on both of those to white. And now go ahead and click our uh, save on the project and go ahead and run it and we'll notice now we have a dice roller app oops we have uh, you know both of our dice faces and we have this roll button that doesn't quite do anything yet but we have a nice interface set up and we are ready to go ahead and jump into the next part of the project which is going to be in part two of this series um, this was mostly set up, up setting up the interface and in part two of this we will go into the back end and make it randomly generate a roll every time that we click the roll button and have this game work fluently. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Drop a comment down below for any thoughts or suggestions for the next video. And with that said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. <music>